All right, Shalom. Before I get started, I want to give all the glory and honor to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rakar Quarash. Double honors to my apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Peace and safety to all the sincere Akim that is out here pushing this word in truth and in all sincerity. All right. Um, and um, I want to do this real quick lesson uh, while the Spirit's on me. Uh, entitled uh, Some to the Extent of, you know, uh, the elect versus everybody, man. All right. The elect versus everybody. All right. And right now, the elect. A fisherman's, but as I'm gonna go into, hey, it's about time to pull the. The Lord is gonna tell us to pull them reels in, man. All right, and when we pull them reels in, what you think's gonna go on? All right, and I'm gonna let the scripture speak. All right, this is Jeremiah. This is Jeremiah 16, and I'll start at 14, and it reads, "And therefore, behold, the days cometh, saith the Lord, that it shall no more be said, the Lord liveth, that brought up." The children of Israel Out of the land of Egypt Because this this salvation This deliverance Is going to trump um, The uh, story of us being Delivered out of uh, 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 out of Ancient Egypt during the time of Moses man. And think about how glorious That event was that is still Spoken of unto this very day Still spoken on to this very day By everybody Alright Everybody knows the story of uh, of Moses and Egypt and the children of Israel and the Red Sea and Pharaoh. But this deliverance is going to make that look like it was nothing. Like, oh, we used to celebrate that? No. This is the new one. All right? Reading on. And it says, But the Lord liveth that brought up the children of Israel from the land of the north. And where are we at? In North America. All right? And from... All the lands whether he hath driven them. So not only are we going to be delivered out of this new Egypt, as 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 uh, Revelation 11 and 8 tells us, right? This uh, city, spiritually Sodom and Egypt, right? It says, "Behold, I will bring, I will send for many fishers," saith the Lord, and they shall fish them. And afterwards, 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 after, all right, because. Once the fishing is done, it's time to put the reels up. Like I said, we're going the Lord going to have it in the spirit where we're going to put the reels up and what's going to happen. It says, and I and I will send for many hunters, and they shall hunt them from every mountain and from every hill and out of the holes of the rocks. You see? So that hunting season is coming, man. All right? And you can just feel it in your spirit. You can feel the intensity you could feel the, 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 the determination. You could feel the the, the, the the frustration in your bones. You could feel the the wickedness growing. And you look at these people and it makes you want to get down. But that's why we gotta we gotta lean on Zephaniah what? Zephaniah 3 and 8. So that this scripture could come to pass. That what is as it says, uh um hold hold fast and wait for the Lord to raise us up to the praise, to the pray. Okay? I got one more scripture I want to hit. All right, one more scripture to f further this point that soon, soon, very soon, the elect is going to get nasty on this place. Just nasty. It's going to get get nasty out here on you people, man. All right. Uh, this is Jeremiah 51 and 20. And it says, thou art my battle axe and weapons of war. For with thee will I break into pieces the nations, and with thee will I destroy kingdoms. You hear that? That's when the hunting is beginning. When the hunting, that's what I say right now, fishing, fishing is a, that's a peaceable sport. You know, you sit at the, the sit by the water side, by the dock side, on the side of a boat. You got to be quiet, peaceable. You don't want to make a lot of noise. You don't want to ruffle the waters, Right. You don't want to ruffle the waters because you're trying to what reel the fish in. You understand? But once the weird, but once the fish is done, you put the reel up and you will do what? You're gonna pull out the weapons. But in this case, the Lord is gonna use us to be His weapons. So what's that mean? Blood, bloodshed. All right. Going into Ezekiel the ninth, ninth chapter, four on down, and it says, "Have no pity. Have no pity." 
the Lord is already putting that spirit of having no pity on us, man. The Lord is, is hardening us. This, this hardening is coming to what? So that when we get out here, we're going to be terminated. You see the the sixth the um sixth part of terminators coming out. It's going to be the, the Lord is going to let us get down on these people, man. So we got to just hold fast, keep fishing until we fish that last elect member out of this fucked up place. And then we're going to get down on this place, man. And nothing go, and ain't nobody going to stop us, man. All right? Just like when the angels, when the Lord let the angels loose, when King David uh, did a survey on the people, it's going to be the same thing, man. The Lord going to let us get down like those angels, man. And this is going to be dead blood. Dead bodies and body parts and blood and guts all over this goddamn place. Thus saith the Lord, all right? Thus saith Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai, okay? So with that, I want to say Shalom.